of all, new kit, new bikes this year. How, how's, first of all, how's the kit? The kit's lovely, yeah. It's nice, nice and warm on the first cold day of the year. Yeah, yeah it's, it's working. And the bikes, they come from Belgium. They ride like a Belgian cross bike? Yeah, very similar to a Ridley. It's got the same sort of bottom bracket height uh, as the Ridley's. A little bit higher than the Col Nargos I had last year, but yeah, it's very, very similar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How was the race today? Uh, good. Amazing for me. I've gone a little bit better than I thought I was going to go. I thought last year in the 40s I'm going to go back even further, but <laughs> we were there with the usual faces, with a couple of new ones thrown in. But uh, yeah, quite nice to not have massive gaps at the end, and uh, sixth I think, so that's good. Well, I, had, I saw on Cycling Archives put a picture up of, of John yeah. from, from way back when. Yeah. Just give us a bit of a, a summary of the family history in, in Cross, because it's pretty rich. Yeah, well, I think my, grand, my granddad probably definitely started it because he was part of the founding member, he was a founding member of the British Cycling Cross Association, right. along with Keith Edwards. So there was always a, a tie there, although my granddad was more involved in the organising, yeah. although he did ride a, quite a few crosses as well. And then my dad, he really took to the sport because he was good at it. Yeah. Um, we was only talking about it today, he's come to the race with me, and he was saying he, he didn't like road racing because he sort of couldn't compete. He said he was two mile an hour too slow. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to cross, he could, he could do really well. And yeah, he, he has the, the skills right. to match. Well, he's got the skills. He liked riding his bike over rough stuff, and um, yeah, it did well for him, really. And then, obviously, with the publicity he got in the 70s, it made him a bit of a, a, a commodity, so he, he managed to make it pay, as it were. And uh, 13 titles, pretty good And going. yourself, you've been in it a while. Yeah, well, I started at 16, and I'm 49 <laughs> now. And uh, I think with Cross, it's something you just love, like, really. Yeah. You love doing it. You don't, sometimes you, you get, it gets a bit much with everything else that goes on in life and you go away for a bit and then you come back like this man here he's uh, <laughs> he's been back and forth more times than I care to mention he's having a really good year again this year so but it's a really friendly sport it's not yeah it's not uh, everyone shakes hands afterwards and, and it says what a good ride and you don't worry about it too much you just it's a very fair sport I think you know you, you get out of it what you put in well you've seen probably more changes than ever but today was a record entry for a national trophy, over 700 yeah. uh, entries. The sport, the sport is catching people's imagination. It is. It's doing really well. I, just, I, I fear for the fact that a lot of venues can't cope with it. You know, you've got issues with parking, especially when it gets wetter later in the year. Parking on a field is probably out of the question, and this, uh, you know, toilets and everything else. It's compared to the old days. Like, you know, I'm only really talking about the 80s. Parking will go back further than that slightly. If you but, think uh, it's yours, you need to Yeah, I mean, we used to park in a car park, there'd be half a dozen cars. And <laughs> we've got, it's amazing now when you can't get into a car park, or, uh, like you say, amazing when you get 150 riders in some of the races, like we do in the West Midlands League. It's, we seem to manage, and it's good, it's good that the sport's popular. Yeah. I just hope it doesn't, I hope it doesn't leave, uh, lose its sharp end, it doesn't become just a sportif, a come and have a go, because it has been advertised yeah. as that, and really, it is quite an elite sport. The guys that are good at it are fantastic at what they do. I know that from the speed that you guys were going down that. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame if if the racing gets forgotten in favour of numbers, like really. I'd, I'd rather see a few less riders and a few better riders than huge numbers, like a thousand in a race or something. Right. Like really. So you'd rather you'd rather see the quality, certainly the trophy level, or? Well, I think yeah, I think you could suit ev You know, it can suit everyone. Um, Perhaps we need more sport races that aren't yeah. so serious, so people can come and have a go. A bit like mountain biking with the elite categories and the sport categories. Yeah, sport category, yeah. So yeah. they don't have to race with guys that want to go around the course 10 mile an hour quicker because yeah. I hate seeing people arguing, like, you know, in races and swearing. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not on. I don't do it, but yeah. when people do in the heat of the moment with the red mist and all that. Like, so your last year in this category, what are, yeah. you, what are your hopes finally for the, for the trophy season? So I'm only actually doing this round because right. unfortunately they've put them all on Saturdays and I've got a shop to run. Right. So I've managed to come out today and do this, but financially it just cost That's me the too much. the right Coventry, yeah? Yeah, yeah, for this ride, bike shop in Coventry. It just cost mm. me too much to be away yeah, every yeah. weekend. I can do the odd one. I might do Shrewsbury because it's handy as well. Yeah. And it's nice to test yourself against the best. Um, so the national championships would be the... I'll probably do the national championships down in London and yeah. got the World Masters in Malt in right. December. That's what I'd really like to do very well in because I'm actually in the 50s category for that. Right. So I go, uh, go 
go up, uh, up and up and on sort of things. And Martin, what brings you back back into the back to this level? Well, it's, it's the same old thing. It's uh, unfinished business. Um, I had Pete Hargrove supporting me for like 10, 12 years or more, and uh, we had some great times. Yeah. The last couple of years, I've had a lot of uh, health problems and uh, mental health problems, and also family problems. With, yeah. uh, the parents getting older, yeah. and um, I, I just hate to walk away from things with like unfinished business. So I, I intended sort of putting it back for Pete, but Pete hasn't got his team this year, and Darren set up the team with Dave Williams. So it's a chance to try something different. Um, yeah get involved with some people and probably get involved with helping Lewis Askey, the young promising junior, and um, just see what I can do for myself. Um, again, like Darren, I'm 59, so I'm in the last year of my category. Um, I move up next year and you know, there's life in the old dog yet, hopefully, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And the coaching? I'm doing quite a bit locally again, which um, everybody's pleased about, but I hope to do a little bit more on the uh, more elite level, um, but yeah, um, hopefully give Lewis some tips as well. Yeah.